it seems for some reasons they had um, the right place to have contests, athletic ones, in summertime. It started with few st small states participating there at that time and became broader and broader through time, through time up to around the end of the fourth century, that means around uh, 400 and let's say and 50 after the beginning of our era uh, due to socio-political reasons also and this was the end of the old time of the Olympics. The main reason was that the Greeks always believed that uh, a balanced person is a correct person only when it's balanced and the balanced person, to be balanced, has to balance two uh, parameters which comprise the human being. is the spirit and the body. And from very ancient times... Spiritually and physically. Yes. So there is the Greek expression that nous igis and somati yes, that means spirit and way of thinking, healthy, when the body is healthy. This is what in Latin is said, Can mens say that again? sana in corpore sano. Can you say that again, the first one? Nus iis and somati iis. Nus iis and somati iis. Yes, yes, exactly. So this is hidzin, as the word hidzin comes from that. So from that point of view, if you can balance the two of them, you have a balanced person. And a balanced person is more correct than an unbalanced person. A person that has a sick body but a great spirit or brain. I'm simply speaking now. Or the vice versa. For this reason they believed that when you promote both of them all the time and you make a development on both of them but you keep also their balance, you have a correct member of the society and it's good for you. And this is the idea of the athletic contests, because the Olympic Games in the old times, as we are trying to make it now also in Greece, were not only athletic for the body, but they were competitions of spiritual questions, like, for instance, poetry, history, theater, and very many other aspects, which were what we will call today games of the Olympic Games apart from the ones which are the corporal. Which are the physical part. Which are the physical. Like the Olympic, the bridge Olympics. The bridge. You know? Let's say yes. People play bridge. It has, nothing to, do, has nothing to do with fix physical exercise, does it? Exactly. So this is, for instance, when uh, for the first time the Greeks heard about Indonesia. Mm. In the Olympics... When Indonesia became the world champion in bridge. No. Known about the, know, the known about the existence of Indonesian Nusandara. Mm -hmm. This is around 500 before our era or before Christ uh, at the Olympics when uh, uh, the the first the first game winner in writing history Herodotus presented his work and in his work. He said... Included. Included. Indonesia. Yes. Saying that to the east of the subcontinent, south of the Himalayas and the Hindus River, are very, very many islands inhabited. So that's mm -hmm. some connection between the two of us mm -hmm. at the very beginning. The Olympic Games. Yes. Coming back to the Olympic Games. Uh, you were saying that even at that time, organizations in that, in that time, governments or the monarchy or the kingdom at that point in time, believe that a healthy person is good for the country, that sports, physical um, endurance is something that will have an impact on the behavior and will have an impact on a decision-making process by a certain person. Is that correct? Of course. And uh, the reason we are asking that is that Indonesia has not been 
has not excelled in many ways in sports except for badminton which Indonesia has for many years been the world champion. The allocation of budgets to such an event like the Olympic Games, is that important? Is this the Olympic, upcoming Olympic Games in Greece a political event? Is it a, a show of force? Is it a, a indication as to how strong your country is? You fought to get the rights to hold the Olympics, didn't you? Of course, because uh, this is the meaning of existing within a community of very many different states. Everybody has his own interests. So it's something which is acceptable and cannot be in a different way that you have to fight under the, the rules existing of the game, written or unwritten, to have the position that you have to have within the group. It's the same thing as you have members of a social group, as we were saying. So the states are a group also. So we had to pass our points of view, which were in main idea that the Olympics, because they come out of Greece, they have to retain the very the beginning of their existence and the meaning of their existence, which is First of all, that the spiritual values are the ones who, which have to prevail. And we did a lot of work on that. Can you explain a little bit more? For that? instance, uh, we diminished the sponsors of the games to 40 only. Though in the previous Olympic Games there were around 100. And two games before there were 200. The United States? In Atlanta. In Atlanta. Uh, because we believe that sponsors have to exist. Because in the ancient Olympic Games, sponsors were existing also. But we should not leave the dimension of not of the power. Power of very many ways exp expressing itself to be the guidance to such an event, as it is an event of the Olympic Games of the, the balance of the personality. So to have a balance of personality, you have to have a balance of everything. You cannot call it balance and everything else to be disbalanced. So everything has to be in a proportion to the main ideal, which is the balance of the spirit to the human body and vice versa. What does if I may come back to my original question on the Olympic Games, is this political? What does a country like Greece gain from being the host of an Olympic Games? Well, <laughs> of course... There's so much money involved. There's a lot of money involved. And this, to, to, to cover the expenses, it needs a correct management. But this is an international truth starting from time immemorial till time immemorial in the future. So the management is, the correct management is the way to balance the expenses to the gains, if they are gains, whatever it is. As the time passes, because of more needs always we have through the development on a global system, various expenses become quite more expensive than before. So what is but the gain? They go together. What, what, what will be the gain except from the financial eventually? So this is, is why I gain. said it first, right. which is outside of the discussion. Mm. The gain is the spirit of what we call Olympics. The intangible gains, the yes. intangible benefits. Yes, mm. to continue to have their own meaning, the meaning they had.